it's quite common for everyone sits on the floor. Um, very common. You might have a majority of your meals sitting on the floor. Uh, your discussions will be taught while you're sitting on the floor. <clears throat> so if I was to come in into a room and everyone's sitting on the floor, it's I need to get as low as possible because um, I don't want to be standing over anyone or, or perceived as looking down on anyone. So, so if I come into a room and I see that there's a spot to sit on the opposite side of the room, I'm going to come in and I'm going to bend over, hunch over, try to get my head as low as possible to someone sitting on the floor and I'm going to say chulo, which is excuse me. So I'm going to say, and, and if there's happened to be 10 people between me and that one spot on the other side of the room, they say, I'm going to say, excuse me, excuse me, until I get to that one spot and then sit down and fold my legs, Indian style, cross my legs and sit down. Um, yeah, so it's just chulo, 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 excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Um, Another thing is you don't want to, you don't touch anyone on the top of their head. So it might be customary here to, you see a little kid and you pat them on the head. Over there, don't touch anyone on the head. You're not going to pat anyone on the head. So respect is very key. You don't want to disrespect anyone. You want to be you're coming into a home, be as humble as possible. If it's meal time and there's something that you may not be fond of for whatever reason. Do your best to set your pride aside and your taste buds and, and eat what they offer you because this might be the best that they have. And so kind of put your pride aside and, and you know, for me, it was fish. I wasn't a huge fan of fish, but in Fiji, fish is a regular part of the diet. And there's a few times I had to set my pride aside and eat some fish. I like fish now. I've kind of gotten over that. If there's any sister missionaries, this probably won't be a problem that you'll, that you'll deal with, but because your skirts will be long. But if you're female and you happen and you go into a village, um, maybe this is more if you're on vacation, if you ever go back on vacation, if you happen to be wearing a pair of shorts, that's a no-no. Um, make sure you have a long skirt that um, you know that you, that you can cover up. So if you, for instance, for instance, if you're you know on a P day and you're going to go, you might go into a village or a service project or whatever. Just make sure you have a, uh, a um, and just a long skirt to cover cover your legs all the way down to your ankles. Um, you'll see that in the village a lot. You know, a lot of ladies they'll wear long. Even in the cities, just long skirts, you know, all the way down um, to your ankles. Um. Um, I love how friendly they are. If you're walking on the road and it's just you and you see another Fijian that's walking the opposite direction, you'll always say something to them, right? They'll always say something to you, whether it be Io or Mbula or Salakamanu Bango, they'll say something to you. They'll always recognize you, they'll always say hi to you, they'll always say goodbye to you. And they're welcoming. If you're walking in the village, they always... It's cultured to invite anybody that walks past you to come join you at dinner or at lunch or breakfast. So you're walking in the village in the morning, um, you'll walk past an open door, you'll be like, my and you'll be like, and you'll be like, my local mine, and then you'll say, no, I'm good, and they'll be like, all right. But they'll always invite you to come eat with them, and even if they don't have anything, they'll try to find something to give you. They're just generous, they don't care about uh, the temporal things in life so much, they don't care about money, they don't care about status or, or wealth, they just care about their families and they care about God and, and about helping others out because they know that those are the things that really give them happiness. So I love that, I love how humble they are. They're just willing to learn and to love. I never met a Fijian that didn't like love you instantly. And I don't know, the love just grows and grows. Every time I got transferred, I cried. I didn't want to leave the people. They're just so nice and um, 
willing to help you out. I don't know. I've just never met a people that were so kind and uh, generous and, and wanting to do what's right. 